What's good, YouTube? Dre here with Different Gaming. Going to be bringing y'all a not so much an informative video, just uh, my opinion of this card, Dominus Purge. Before I hop into the video, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I go live and upload. Check out my affiliate link in the description box below at Gem Accessories. Use Different Gaming underscore 20. 25 and at checkout for 10 percent off and without further ado let's let's, let's let's talk about this card dominus purge now i've been i've seen some videos about it i've seen a lot of seen some talk about it not a lot of talk just some talk um this card is going to be very very good. You don't know what to do? Let's read it together. When a card or effect is activated that includes an effect that adds a card or cards from the deck to the hand. For the rest of this duel, duel, that's the whole match. That's the whole match. After this card activated from the hand resolves, you cannot activate dark water and fire monster effects. Also, negate the activation. Then, if you have a trap in your graveyard, destroy that card. If your if your opponent controls a card, you can activate this card from your hand. Ugh, excuse me. Excuse me. So, unlike Imperm. It doesn't say you don't need to control any cards, first thing, as we look at it. It just says if your opponent controls a card, you can activate it from your hand. So you're you're probably wondering, well, how is it going to be that good? Dark, water, fire. For a lot of the new decks coming out, Infernoid is a fire. Ice barrier. Ice barrier. Water. Fiendsmith. Fire. So as as we as we look more into it, you have ritual bees that that has cards and effects that adds a card from the deck to the hand. Mainly when, so Ritual Beast being able to use this card is going to be very good. Uh, you have White Wood. White Wood's all light. So Dominus Purge is definitely going to be used in White Wood because it doesn't affect them. And for Noble. Even though. Even though Infernoble is not really played that much, and some and not here where I'm at, but you can you never know on on the other side of the U.S. overseas, you never know what deck people are playing. So, you know, when the new set drops, Dominus Purge is going to hit. Is is going to be very detrimental against. Any fire, dark, or water decks coming up. Dragon Link. Darkness. Fiendsmiths. I believe are all light. Yeah, Fiendsmiths are light. I thought Fiendsmiths were fire. I guess because they're mixed with Snake Eye. But... Light, you'll be able to use it. Hurts Tempa, 
all of them are fire. And field spell and this card automatically adds a card. It just says card. Light Swarm. Light. Tear Light Swarm. You can't do nothing there. Except with the Light Swarm engine. So. With. With this card. And as it say, controls a card. It doesn't specify monster, spell, trap, nothing. It just says control a card. So, for example, tier, tier light swarm. Activate Pearl Rhino. Add Dominus Purge. New Rika, Rika stuff. Earth, light, dark, fire. Don't don't have water. <laughs> you just you better off going with your with the earth. Depending on what you mix it with. I don't know much about Riker. I haven't really seen the deck in action. But there's light and earth. If you play the deck, and you, I mean, you, you obviously have to run the dark and the water and the fire. Voiceless voice. Light. They're definitely going to abuse Dominus. You bail. You bail. If you, if you don't, if you don't remember, you bail is all dark. All dark. So, Dominus Purge is going to hurt you, Bill. Fire King and Snake Eye. Fire. Fire. And then, Fire King also is getting the, I assume that this is the last card for Fire King. What? Yeah, Dominus Purge is, it just kills it. And then you only need to resolve one. Because for the rest of the duel, they're pro they'll probably they'll probably uh what's the word I'm looking for? It'll probably make the ruling when the car comes out. But I'm pretty sure you just one, two, three. So if you use a game one for the rest of game one, can't do anything. Game two, same thing. Game three, uh, same thing. Uh, Chimera. Earth, dark. So, with Dominus Purge coming out, in my opinion, not only is it going to be a three of and a lot of decks that can actually abuse it, but it's just, <laughs> it's going to be very interesting watching this card shape the format. Because, as we all know, in Yu-Gi-Oh, if you see it, you see it. If you got it, you got it. It's a normal trap. It's a thrust. It's thrust target. You can play it in lab. Hell, you can even transaction roll back the, the damn thing. There's there's gonna be so much, especially with back row decks with this card. Trap tricks.
and you, you can't activate the effects. And a lot of these dark water and fire monsters that's already out or getting ready to come out need their res need their effects to resolve. They need to resolve. So imagine going first and you're playing Snake Eye, pure Snake Eye, and your opponent just set to and you you activate a card that adds a, a you activate a card that adds a card from the deck to the hand. Flip the humness purge. You 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 reveal you reveal what you're playing to your opponent at that point. Your opponent literally just set to just a bluff or just to get knowledge of the deck that they're playing against. And the first card that you play, depending on what it is, gives them all the knowledge that they need to know. So, I look forward for, for a Dominus Purge release. I'm really looking forward to this. Along with the new hand trap that everybody is so hyped about. I did a video about that. If you want to check it out, it'll be in a video somewhere on the screen. I think this side. I want to say my right side, your left side. Gross about the card. As long as your opponent controls a card, <laughs> you can activate it from the hand. Thrust target. Trap tricks target. Easy three of. You only need to resolve one, though. I mean... And a lot of a lot of these decks have trap cards already built into the in, into the engine. So nine times out of ten, there's going to be a trap card in the grave. Yeah, this this going to be this going to be fun. You know, I I feel like this card might make a lot of people quit. If they're not already quitting now. So, hope y'all enjoy. Let me know in the comment section below your, your thoughts and opinions on Dominus Purge. And until then, peace.